Hi, I'm Marielle Lehman, one of the attorneys at the Bloomfield Family Law Firm. And today we are going to discuss a situation in which your former significant other is making an accusation of physical or sexual abuse against you in an effort to obtain a better position in your divorce or custody proceedings. Here are three things that you should do if faced with this situation. First and most importantly, try to avoid making any statements to anybody. That includes Child Protective Services, the police, relatives, and even your friends. Allow your attorneys to do the talking for you. Now, this isn't to suggest that you should not cooperate with the Child Protective Services investigation. That's not what we're saying. What we are saying is to try to avoid making any statements about the allegations themselves. Number two, we know how incredibly overwhelming these accusations can be. So contact an attorney experienced in participating in and defending against allegations of physical and sexual abuse. There are aspects of your case that your attorney cannot do for you, which brings us to number three. Collect any evidence that you think can be useful in defending against these allegations. This evidence would include emails, threatening text messages, prior court filings, anything in which your former significant other has made allegations or threats to gain a better position in the family or custody proceedings. At the Bloomfield Family Law Firm, we know how overwhelming these allegations can be. We're also aware that the stakes are very high. You may not see your children. If you are faced with allegations of physical or sexual abuse, Call us today. We're here to help.